Hey guys, this is Steve from Tronix Fix, and today we're going to be disassembling the Xbox One S controller. So let's take a look and see what's inside this thing. Okay, here we go. Um, I've never actually taken this one apart. I've taken apart a bunch of Xbox One controllers before, but never the Xbox One S. So I'm going to assume that this is very similar. So um, there's several ways you can do this. You can either use your fingers and just take these off or you can use a plastic opening tool. Um, I'm gonna try with the opening tool first just to see how similar it is. And it looks like it's very similar so far. So the next thing I'm gonna do is actually just get my finger, fingers in there and just pull that off the clips. Um, you can see there's no damage done there or anything. Um, all the clips are fine. So that's just something you got to um, you gotta kinda get a feel for with these is how much is too much. If you don't wanna break the clips, most of the time, you know, unless you break all the clips, there's gonna be enough clips on there that it's gonna work fine um, when you get it back together. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kinda get my fingers in there and pull this one off as well. Actually, I need to get the rest of the clips. They kind of pulled back together. Okay, that feels a little better. It's still pretty hard to get off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and see if we can pry any more clips off here. Okay, you heard some more coming off. So that should help us a little bit. Try this again. Now it's coming off. So you can see everything looks fine in there. The clips are all intact and we got that off. So the next thing we got to do is we need to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. And then they also hide one in the battery compartment right under here under the label. Um, assuming this is the same as the Xbox One, which so far it looks pretty similar. So I'll get my screwdriver and we'll take a look. The bit I usually use for this is a T9. It actually needs to be the security Torx. So it's basically gonna be a Torx with a hole in the middle of it to fit the security screws. So those ones, there's those two. And then we got these two. There's those ones, and then we just gotta get this one in here. What I usually do is I usually just take my screwdriver, poke a hole straight down, and if I'm lucky, it goes right onto the screw right away. I actually sometimes just leave that screw in there because it's kind of hard to get out um, with the sticker there. So, um, so now the next thing, you can see everything's loose, so what we're gonna do, we'll take this back part off, set that aside, and then this just lifts up right out. So if you ever need to replace these thumbsticks, as you guys know on the Xbox One and the PS4 controllers, these oftentimes uh, go bad. And so all you have to do is pull them off. So, and then um, that's, the, that's how you replace them. So you pull it off, just put it back on. So anyways, there's the inside of the controller. And then this is the other side that show all the buttons. So it actually looks pretty much the same as a normal Xbox One controller. Um, I don't really see any major differences. So that's how you disassemble the Xbox One S controller. Now we'll go ahead and just put it back together so you guys can see how to do that. Um, you wanna make sure these thumbsticks are good and if you need to change them, change them now because the next thing is we're gonna put it back on uh, the front piece right here. We're just gonna lay that on the table, line up the thumbsticks and then pull up on the top piece. So that we got that, it's gonna fall back down but that's fine. So the next thing is we're gonna put the bottom piece back on. And the thing you gotta remember with this is you have to be very careful that the battery contacts slide right up in here. And so that's what you need to make sure of this. And the other thing too is you'll need to push down on these uh, triggers just a little bit when you're lowering this down to make sure it goes down all the way. So we got the battery contacts lined up and now we're gonna push on the, on the triggers and that gets it all the way. So the triggers are free and loose. So the next thing we're gonna do is tighten this middle screw. Okay, so the middle screw's tight and now we can check the function of everything. Make sure there's nothing binding or sticking and it looks like there's not. So we're good there. 
So the next thing we gotta do is put these two screws in and these two screws in. I'm just gonna drop them down there with my finger and then tighten them down with the electric screwdriver here. Okay. Got to make sure that you line up the screwdriver with the screw well. You could hear the last one was, was slipping quite a bit, so that's a good way to strip out your screws so you don't want to do that. Okay, so there's that. Now you got to take the uh, plastic pieces that go on the edge or on the ends here, and you want to line it up so there's uh, you know a, a bit of a crack there, but you can tell that it's lined up, and then all you got to do is just push it down. Same thing with this, I'm just gonna snap it back on. Now we got it snapped on, the battery cover. There we go. That's the disassembly and assembly of the Xbox One S controller.